In this video, I'll take up four examples and we'll try to understand how to find all possible values of theta when theta is given between 0 to 2 pi and value of trigonometric ratios is given to us. First one here is cos theta equals to half. So whenever we are given a ratio like this, we can actually see what are the possible solutions. Now, all are positive here, sine in 2, tan in 3, and cosine in quadrant 4. So that gives us two possibilities of positive value for half, correct? So these are the two possibilities, for example. So within 0 to 2 pi, we are looking for two possible solutions, correct? Now, you could use your calculator or you could use special triangles. So let's make a special triangle. I purposely removed this. Uh, if I write exact value, you have to use special triangles. Okay. So, so which triangle has a half in it? So the one which has half in it is pi by 3, pi by 6, correct? So that could be a triangle of your interest. So this is what you have to guess. So we have this side as angle as pi by 3 and that one as pi by 6. Now cos is half, cos is half, that means we're talking about adjacent over hypotenuse. So half means this over that, so angle is pi by 3. So what we get here is that theta is equals to pi by 3. So this angle is pi by 3 for which cosine is half. What is the other angle? The other angle is 2 pi minus pi by 3. Or you would also say 2 pi minus pi by 3 will be 1 less than 6 pi by 3. Or we can say 5 pi by 3. Do you see that? So you could do that. Because this could be written as 6 pi by 3. Pi could be written as 3 pi by 3. Do you see that? And 2 pi is 6 pi by 3. So, so that angle is 1 less than pi by 3, 5 pi by 3. That is how you could do it, or otherwise you could do 2 pi minus pi by 3, which is 5 pi by 3, right? Taking common denominator. Let's do the next one now. Again, the same strategy. Let's locate where the terminal arm can be. Negative sign means it could be in these two places. Perfect. Since we know that all are positive here, sine in quadrant 2, tan and cosine in 3 and 4. So two possible, correct? So let's find the acute angle first, which will give us square root 2 over 2, right? Now this is the 45 degrees one, or pi by 4, correct? So, so we have, we could write this as uh, 1, 1 square root 2. That could be a triangle. Or this time it is rationalized. So we are multiplying everything by square root 2. So you could consider a triangle which is uh, 2 square root 2 square root 2. Correct? Matching with these values. So that is pi by 4. So we know this acute angle here is pi by 4. Correct? So what are the answers? So the answer here is theta equals 2. So we got two values. One is pi plus pi by 4. So one is pi plus pi by 4. And the other one is 2 pi minus pi by 4. Do you get it? From the sketch itself. So other way to calculate is when we are talking about pi by 4, this is 4 pi by 4. This is 8 pi by 4. In radians, same denominator is required for easy calculations. And 1 more than 4 is 5, so we get 5 pi by 4 here. 1 less than 8 is 7, 7 pi by 4. Or do your math, 8 pi minus pi is 7. So that is how you could easily get the answers, and I hope this explanation helps you to understand. So we'll take up two more examples. We are now talking about tan and secant. So same method for tan, positive values means we are looking for two solutions, one in quadrant 1 and the other one in quadrant 3. Tan is positive in these two quadrants. Square root 3 reminds us of a, a special triangle, which is 
pi by 3 pi by 6 correct and the size as you know will be 1 2 square root 3 so when we write square root 3 over 3 we're trying to say it is 1 over square root 3 correct now what is the related acute angle for 1 over square root 3 tan is think like this tan theta is opposite over adjacent right so opposite over adjacent should be 1 over square root 3 so the angle is pi by 6 correct so this acute angle is pi by 6 and that one will be pi plus pi by 6 so we get theta as pi by 6 and pi plus pi by 6 which is pi by 6 and 6 plus 1 7 pi by 6 in radians you could also treat this pi as 6 pi by 6 and one more will give you 7 do you get it so it's very simple to do it like this the last one here about secant which is reciprocal of cos so you could treat this as also cos theta equals to minus flip the value so we have 3 over 2 square root 3 or you could write this as minus square root 3 over 2 correct so if you look into this triangle cos is adjacent over hypotenuse so the angle should be pi by 6 so related ang acute angle theta is pi by 6 for us this is i should not write theta but i should write alpha the related acute angle okay when we say cos is negative that means we are talking about the terminal arm in these two coordinates correct this is from the the rule all okay so that means we are talking about these two coordinates perfect now here the angle which we found is pi by 6 this angle is pi by 6 so in terms of pi by 6 pi could be written as 6 pi by 6 one less so that means theta equals to uh, pi minus pi by 6 and pi plus pi by 6 correct so you could also do from 6 pi by 6 one less will be 5 pi by 6 and one more will be 7 pi by 6 so these are the two possible values for theta when secant is minus 2 square root 3 over 3 so I hope you understand the strategy which we could use adopt the one which you like since I've tried to do it in different ways feel free to write your comments and share your views thank you and all the best